We talked about the need to coordinate our efforts so that we were consistently approaching this across the country. We talked about the need to keep the rate of taxation uh, low so that we can uh, drive the criminal element out of the, uh, the cannabis market. And we talked about the need for ongoing coordination. We didn't get to revenue estimates. What we did talk about was the fact that revenue shouldn't be our driving goal. In fact, keeping criminals out of the system and making sure we keep children safe, those should be and are our goals. That was the key area of focus today. The goal today was to listen. So we, we did listen to the provinces and their perspective on what this, uh, what this federal initiative is going to uh, imply in their situation. So we talked about the need to collaborate, as I said, on, on taxes. Uh, we talked about the requirement that we get more evidence in order to get to conclusions. So, so certainly I was open to listen to what implications there are going to be on a province-by-province -province basis in the way that we need to. Uh, this will be dynamic, so the, the issue around uh, the taxation will be dynamic as the market changes and the costs and the benefits because there could be a potential where other provincial uh, expenses are actually reduced and some are increased and as yet we don't have enough uh, actual data to get to conclusions. We accept that there's, there's much work to be done, but we've started down that path and we are going to work to get to a conclusion by uh, July 2018. We believe that it's entirely possible, and as a backstop, the federal government will be able to assure the provinces that we'll be able to, for instance, be the taxation regime if they're not able to get there in time. We'll be able to be the, uh, the backstop in terms of uh, how we actually uh, distribute marijuana if they're not able to get there in time. So, so we have an agenda, we have a timeline, and we have a backup plan. We believe that we're going to be able to do this in a way that's going to protect Canadians that's going to introduce a new regulatory regime and do it in a way that uh, meets up to all of our challenges.